Hey friends, this is Atif for Pierre Well, and this is the monthly roundup of my all trading ideas that I'm sharing on the daily basis at the Patreon. And I plan to do this every month, but due to some workload, I could not do this every month. Therefore, I'm just going to share all the trading ideas that I have shared from December up till now in this video. And this video will be really, very important for the people who are still skeptical and thinking that if uh, they will join my Patreon, spend only $10, will it be beneficial for them or not? They will see the result. And after watching the result of all trades, uh, you can take your decision whether you want to join my Patreon or not. And if you would like to support me or join my Patreon, then I have also shared the link in the video's description you can find there. And the ideas which I am sharing at the Patreon are basically uh, based on the six harmonic patterns. Uh, Gardle, Bat, Cypher, Crab, Butterfly and Shark patterns. So uh, let's move to the chart because I don't believe in too much talking. I believe in work. And result so first of all I want to show you this move this is the YFI token another thing very important thing uh, I shared two kinds of ideas uh, in uh, one kind of ideas the the leg has been completed the comp the pattern uh, is completed and the price action is entered in the buying zone as defined per as per the Fibonacci sequence of that particular uh, pattern and the other kind of ideas are where I'm expecting that the leg will be completed and you will see such ideas uh, while I will show you my uh, different ideas that I have shared at the Patreon and I'm expecting that leg will be completed but uh, without completing the final leg the price action moves to the upside without entering in the buying zone so I will leave those ideas I will not count them uh, in successful or unsuccessful ideas. I, I will only only count those ideas where the price action is entered in the buying zone and after that the stop loss is triggered or our sell targets are hit or not. Now first of all I want to show you this idea that is the YFI token and uh, this idea I shared on the 6th of December and yeah this is the link for the chart and this sorry this is the video this is not the idea and after that i shared this ada cardano uh idea and i'm just going to play this chart first of all okay no sorry <laughs> this is also another video i think yeah this is a normal article this is not the idea okay i'm just going to the next one this is the hnt with us dollar pair and here I was expecting the 24% bullish move and this was the 4 hour chart and this is the link for the chart uh, I've shared at the Patreon and basically this is the link on the trading view chart. Now uh, you can see that on the 4 hour chart the price action uh, was completing this final leg of this bullish shark move. I was expecting that it will be entered here and just I am just going to play this chart and we can see that after playing this chart, the price action completed this final leg, moved up, but did not hit this sell zone, and without hitting the sell zone, moved down. So this is unsuccessful idea, and here our stop loss has been triggered. So this is the one unsuccessful idea. Now I would like to show you the next one. And after HNT, I shared this one on the 7th of December. That was the a PNT with the US dollar pair and this is very small time period one hour chart and let's move to the chart after clicking on the link and it will lead us to the trading view and this is the PNT with US dollar pair one hour chart here I was expecting 14.1 percent and after playing this chart we can see that on this one hour chart uh, I was expecting that this final leg will be completed enter here in the buying zone and after that it will be turned bullish and hit the sell targets and we can see that as predicted the leg has been completed it is moved up but without hitting the sell zone it moved very close to the sell zone uh, but without hitting the sell zone moved down and our stop loss has been triggered so this is another unsuccessful idea second idea so uh, we have two six unsuccessful ideas so far now i am just going to play the next chart and that is the xem with us dollar pair chart and i'm just going to play uh, open this 
a link in the next window. And here we can see this is the link for the chart and it will lead us to the trading view here. I was expecting a 15% move and this was uh, the daily time frame chart. And here I was expecting, sorry, this is also an, uh, another very small time period, one hour chart. And here I was expecting that the price action will complete this final leg of the bullish butterfly. And from here it will be turn bullish and it will hit the Fibonacci uh, sell targets. And we can see that the price action completed this leg here, just hit a spike and moved up, hit the sell zone. If the price action is uh, entered here in this potential reversal zone, even though uh, that is a spike and hit this Fibonacci uh, projection or sell zone, and uh, even though that is a spike only, I will consider it as a successful idea, successful trade. Now, here we can see that it uh, the price action completed this lag, moved up, hit the sell zone, moved down, again moved up. So this is, an, uh, this is one successful idea we can see. Now we have two unsuccessful ideas and one successful idea. Now let's move to the next chart. And next one is the XRP. Sorry, this is just a video I shared here. This is not the specific idea. Uh, yes, this is another idea. This is, uh, this is the Bitcoin four hour chart. Okay, this is another short term four hour chart. And here I was expecting that the price action of Bitcoin will complete the final leg of the bullish butterfly pattern. And after entering in the in our buying zone or potentially reversal zone, it will be turned bullish. We also had a 200 simple moving average support as well below the price, uh, below the buying zone. Now we can see that the price action after playing this chart completed this final leg here and hit the sell targets again entered in the buying zone and turned very very strong bullish so this is another successful trade now we have uh, two unsuccessful and two successful trading ideas now i would like to show you the next one and after the bitcoin i shared this idea this is the xrp and here I was expecting 22.5% bullish move. And here the price line was, uh, uh, the price action of XRP completed the bullish butterfly move. And after clicking on this link, we can move to the trading view to play this chart to watch the result of this trade. And this was also another short term for our chart. And you can see that the price action completed this final leg of the bullish butterfly. In fact, this was the bullish crab move. Uh, uh, I just mentioned here, the butterfly. Here you can see in the title, I just mentioned uh, the butterfly, but it was in fact a crab move. And you can see that the price action after completion of this uh, final leg turned bullish, hit the sell zone and moved down. So this is another successful idea on the small time period for our chart. Now we have uh, three successful trades and two unsuccessful. Now I'm just going to take you to the next chart and that is the Litecoin for our uh, small time period chart. And here I was expecting a bad move. And let me just show you the chart as well. You can see that the price action was completing the final leg of the bat. And after playing this chart, we can see that the price action entered in the potential reversal zone or buying zone and completed this final leg as predicted, you can see, and turned really very, very strong bullish from here. So now we have uh, four successful trades and two unsuccessful trades. Okay, now let's move to the next one. Now we have the Ethereum trade. And here the price action of Ethereum was completing the final leg of the bad move on the four hour small time period, four hour chart. Now let's move to the chart and I'm just going to click on the link here. And you can see that the price action was completing this final leg of the bullish bad move. And after playing this chart, uh, we can see that the price action did not complete this final leg 
and reverse bully from here. Therefore, I'm just going to leave this trade. Now, after the Ethereum, I shared another idea. Uh, this was a video and this was the idea of the Bitcoin Cash this time. And this was the daily time frame chart. And uh, this was the Gardley move, I think. Uh, yes, this was the bad move. And I'm just going to take you to the trading view. The price action already had completed the final leg of the guard lay entered in the potential reversal zone. And after playing this chart, we can see that the price action turned very, very strong bullish on this daily time frame chart after the completion of this car, uh, this bullish bad move. We also had the good uh, support of the 200 and 100 moving averages as well. Now we have uh five successful trades and two unsuccessful and after bitcoin cash i shared this link with us dollar pair and this was also the daily time frame chart and this was uh, the guardley move now let's move to the uh, chart we play this chart and see what is the result of this trade and we can see after the completion of the Gardley move, the price action was entered in the potential reversal zone and turned bullish and hit our sell zone here. Moved down again in the buying zone and turned very, very strong bullish. So now we have uh, six successful trades and two unsuccessful trades. And after the chain link, I shared the Cardano. Let's move to this chart. And here I was expecting up to 45% bullish move. And I'm just going to play this chart now. Okay, here the price action already had completed the final leg of the uh, bullish guard limb move. You can see here the price action already had completed. And I was expecting that it will, uh, uh, maybe it will give us another chance to uh, move up. And you can see that it was moved up again, moved down. But here the, uh, the pattern was completed. Therefore, you can count it as a successful trade or you can just ignore it. Uh, for me, I caught a perfect guardly move. Therefore, I'm uh, adding it in the successful trades. So I have the seven successful trades here and two unsuccessful trades. Now, let's move to the next one. And after this trade, I shared the Bitcoin chart that was uh, the daily time frame chart. And here was, I was expecting 15 point four percent bullish rally and this was the bad move i'm just going to take you to the trading view to play this chart now i was expecting that it will complete the final leg of the bullish bat and if this 25 simple moving average will be broken down then we can see that the price action moved down even broke down the 25 simple moving average as well but uh, did not complete this final leg therefore uh, I'm just leaving this trade. Now let's move to the next one. And that is the ICX chart. And here the price action uh, formed a guardly move on the daily time frame chart. And let's move to the chart now. And you can see that the price action already had completed the guardly move, entered in the potential reversal zone. And after playing this chart, we can see that the price action turned really very strong bullish and even crossed our sell targets as well. You can see first it hit the sell, tar uh, sell zone, moved down again, and again moved up. So now we have eight successful trades and two unsuccessful trades. And now next one is the EOS with US dollar pair. And this was also the daily time frame chart. And this was the guardly move. Now let's move to the chart at the trading view. And you can see that the price action already had completed the final leg of the guardly. And after playing this chart, we can see that the price action turned very, very strong bullish. Uh, first, the price action hit our sell targets, moved down and moved up again and turned really, very really strong bullish. Now we have uh, nine successful trades and two unsuccessful trades. Now let's move to the next. That was the polka dot, and this was also the daily time frame chart. Now we can see that the price action already had completed the guardly move. And to play this chart, I'm just going to the trading view. You can see that the price line was in the buying zone. 
in the potential reversal zone. After playing this chart, we can see that the price action turned really, really strong bullish. First, it turned bullish, hit our sell targets, moved down again, and turned really, very strong bullish. Now we have 10 successful trades and two unsuccessful trades. Now I'm just going to uh, play the next one, and that is the basic attention token, the bad token. And this was also the daily time frame chart. And the price action completed uh, the bad move here. I'm just going to the trading view to play this chart. You can see that already the price line was in the buying zone. And after playing the chart, we can see that the price action turned bullish, moved down back in the potential reversal zone, hit our sell targets here, and turned really, really strong bullish. Now, we after this, we have uh, 11 successful trades and 2 unsuccessful trades. And after the basic attention token, we have the DG buy. This was the long term, uh, two weeks time period chart. And I was expecting that the price line will complete the final leg, the, uh, leg of the bullish shark move, and it will be entered in the potential reversal zone soon. And after playing the chart, we can see that the price action completed the final leg of. Uh, this bullish shark as predicted and moved up hit the sell zone and now we have 12 successful trades and two unsuccessful trades and this was really a very big move because this was a two week chart now after dg byte i shared the bitcoin on the short term let me show you Okay, here I was expecting that the price line will complete this final leg of the bullish butterfly. And this was the link for the chart. And this was a four hour chart. But the price action, uh, I remember, it did not complete the final leg of this bullish butterfly and moved to the upside. Therefore, I'm just leaving this chart. Now let's move to the next one, and that is. This was a video, this was also a video, and this was also the video, and this was a chart. Now this was also the video, and this was also the video, this is the video, this is also a video, and this was the chart. This is the XRP. Okay, here I was expecting that the price action will complete another uh, bad move for a 13.8% rally. And this is the chart on the trading view. And you can see that the price action, even the price line completed the final leg of the bullish bat here. But I was expecting that it will give us another chance to catch it from the buying zone. And after playing this chart, we can see the price action uh, because this chart was already completed. It was it moved up and hit the sell zone, moved down, and then uh, even broke down this potential reversal zone. Therefore, I'm just leaving this chart because it was invalidated. I was expecting that it will give us another chance to catch it from the buying zone, but it turned bullish from here and gave us a clear signal that now. Uh, this chart has been executed, all, already executed. Therefore, we should leave this trade. Now, uh, the next chart after XRP is Uniswap, the UNI, the uh, Uni token. And on this chart, I was expecting that the price line will complete the final leg of the bullish butterfly. And after playing this chart, we can see uh, this is also the daily time frame chart. Okay. The price action did not complete the leg. Therefore, I'm just leaving this chart and moving to the next one. And the next chart is PundiX, the NPXS. This is also a daily time frame chart. And here the price line was completing the final leg of the bad move. Now, if we uh, play this chart, 
just taking you to the trading view to play this chart here. It is taking some time. I'm just going to play this chart. Now we can see I was expecting that the final leg will be completed. And as per uh, the prediction, the price line did not complete this final leg. It turned bullish from here. Therefore, this pattern was invalidated. Therefore, I'm just leaving this chart as well. Okay, the next trade was of a token. And here I was expecting a big move up to 205% uh, bullish rally. And this was also a daily time frame chart. But it was also conditional. And I was expecting that it, if it will break down the moving average, then it can complete the final leg of this bullish sharp move. And uh, we were having the 100 simple moving average support below the price action. And after playing this chart, we can see that the price action broke down the 100 and the 200 simple moving average as well um, went very close to the price uh, to this buying zone and turned very strong bullish but did not complete this final leg therefore i'm just leaving this chart this pattern is invalidated now after this we have yfi token Okay, here I was expecting that the price line will complete the final leg of this uh, bullish bat move. And here is the link for the chart. And this was also, I think, daily time frame chart. On the trading view, we can uh, see whether it was the daily time frame or the small time frame. As it was a daily time frame chart and after playing this chart we can see uh, that the price action as predicted completed the final leg or not and the price line turned bullish from here did not complete the final leg uh, therefore I am also leaving this chart as well the next chart is the link the chain link was uh, forming the Gardlin move. And this was also a conditional chart. It was uh, based on the breaking down of 25 simple moving average on the daily time frame. And I was expecting 216% rally if this 25 uh, simple moving average would be broken down. We can see that the price action moved down up to this level entered up to this level use this 50 simple moving average support as well and turn really very strong bullish and now we have 13 successful trades and two unsuccessful trades and after the chain link we have neocoin and here we also have another guard lane move and this is the link for the chart. The price action already had completed the guard lane pattern and entered in the buying zone. And after playing the chart, the price line you can see here, uh, turned bullish, hit our sell targets, move down again and turn very, very strong bullish. Now we have 14 successful trades and two unsuccessful trades and you can see that whenever the price line is turning bullish it is moving even beyond the sell zones i have defined as per the fibonacci sequence however you can stick to the sell zone that i have defined as per the fibonacci sequence now next trade is the stellar or xlm i shared on 13th of december and this is the link for the chart and this was also conditional move. I was expecting that on the on this uh, daily time frame chart, if the price line will break down this 25 simple moving average, then it uh, it can complete the bad move. And after playing this chart, we can see what happened. The price line moved up, broke down the 25 simple moving average, but went very close to this buying zone, but did not complete this final leg. Therefore, I'm just leaving this trade as well and after stellar we have uh neo this was the video this was also the video as well 
and this is the chart the, a complete trade plan of the digibyte and this time we have the butterfly move by the digibyte coin and this is the link for the chart and you can see that the price line already completed this final leg of the digibyte of this uh, sorry butterfly move now if we're playing this chart we can see that the price action uh, you can see that when I shared this chart, we were at this candlestick. The price line was already uh, had hit this sell zone. Moved down again. I was expecting because that it will give us another chance to catch it from the buying zone. And move up again and hit this sell zone several times and then broke down. So this is also an, uh, another successful trade. So now we have 15 successful trades and 2 unsuccessful trades. After Digibyte, we have NBS, and this was another bad move. New bit shares, and this is the link for the chart. This was uh, based on, I think, daily time frame. Let me just show you. And here, it was expecting 64% bullish rally. It was very close to complete this final leg of this. Uh, Butterfly, a bad move, and this will be a very, very short term hourly chart. And after playing this chart, we can see that so far uh, the lag is you can see expanded too much, therefore, uh, this is also invalidated. I'm just moving to the next one, and this is the dust token. And here I was expecting 31.3% bullish move, that was also another harmonic bullish reversal bad move. And this is also another short term four hour chart. I was expecting that it will complete this final leg of the bullish bat, and it, from here it will hit the sell zone. But you can see that it went very close to this buying zone, turned bullish from here, but uh, invalidated the pattern. Therefore, I'm just ignoring this pattern as well. And moving to the next one that is Bell with US dollar pair. And this was another shark pattern. And here I was expecting 180% big bullish rally if this uh, final leg of the bell will be completed, of this bullish shark will be completed. And this was also another daily time frame chart. And after playing the chart, we can see that the price action, as predicted, did not complete this final leg, went very close to this buying zone, did not give us chance to uh, catch it from here. Therefore, it is also invalidated. And I'm just going to the next one. This is uh, the video. And this is STX. And this time I was expecting 29.9% move. And this was uh, the bullish shark move I was expecting. And this was also conditional. Uh, let's see this move was completed or not. Okay, we don't have the link here. Let me show you from the trading view directly. I am going to find this chart. STX with US dollar pair. STX with US dollar pair. And I shared on 15th of December. Okay. And this is the chart. Okay, after playing the start, we can see that the price action moved down. Or it was turned bullish from here, therefore, I'm not expecting that it is a perfect sharp move. Even though we can see here the leg was completed, but uh, I'm not considering it as a successful pattern. Therefore, I'm just leaving this pattern. Okay, then we have ZEN. And this is also daily time frame chart. And here the price line also completed another Gardley move. Okay, here the price line was already a gearing up. And after playing the chart, we can see the price line gave us another chance to catch it from the buying zone and moved up. So now we have. 16 successful trades and two unsuccessful trades. 
Okay, after this trade, we have the next one is, this is the video, XRP. And here I was expecting up to 134% bullish rally. I think that that was also daily time frame chart. Let's see. Here we also had the uh, 200 simple moving average support, where it, it was conditional. If the 50 simple moving average would be broken down, then the pattern would, would be complete. We can see that the price line uh, bounced from the 50 simple moving average, but here the pattern was invalidated because it was already. As you can see, it has started a bullish rally from here. Therefore, I'm just ignoring this trade. Okay, after that, we have different video that I've shared. Here, another XRP trade. On 19th of December. And this is the chart. And this was another bad move on the uh, hourly time frame this is really very really, uh, short term trade on the hourly time frame chart and here we can see that i was expecting that it will complete the uh, bad move but did not complete and turn bullish therefore i'm just leaving this trade then we had another bell with us dollar pair Okay, this is the link for the chart. And here I was expecting that it will complete this final leg of the bullish shark move. And it can be another very good long opportunity. This was very short term one hour chart. And we can see that the price action uh, completed this leg, just hit its spike up to this sell zone after the completion of this leg. Uh, one spike here, one spike here, and broke down. So this is another successful trade, very short, but successful. For me, if the price action has hit this zone and after this zone, that is a successful trade. Okay, after that we have Monero. That was the guardly move. 